the story of the pre-salt layer described by Petrobras. Since the first discoveries in deep waters, we have followed a long technological journey. The pre-salt discoveries are among the most important worldwide in recent years. This province is composed of large accumulations of light oil, of excellent quality and with high commercial value. A reality that places us in a strategic position in the face of the great demand for energy worldwide. To discover these reserves and operate efficiently in ultra-deep waters, we develop our own technology and work in partnership with suppliers, universities, and research centers. We contract drilling rigs, production platforms, ships and submarines with resources that drive the entire energy industry chain. Understanding how the pre-salt was formed. The pre-salt is a sequence of sedimentary rocks formed more than 100 million years ago, in the geographic space created by the separation of the ancient continent Gondwana. More specifically, by the separation of the current American and African continents, which began about 150 million years ago. Initially, large depressions formed between the two continents which gave rise to large lakes. There, over millions of years, the rocks that generated pre-salt oil were deposited. As all rivers from the separating continents flowed to the lower regions, large volumes of organic matter were deposited there. As the continents moved apart, the organic materials then accumulated in this new space were being covered by the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, which was then formed. There, the formation of a layer of salt began, which currently reaches 2,000 meters in thickness. This layer of salt was deposited on the accumulated organic matter, retaining it for millions of years, until thermochemical processes transformed the organic layer into hydrocarbons, oil and natural gas. Why is the pre-salt a big challenge? When we discovered the first pre-salt reserves, many people doubted that it would be possible to produce due to the technical difficulties in these fields. Today, pre-salt production already represents 68% of our production. But many obstacles had to be overcome, with the technical capacity and integrated work of our teams, such as Distance from the coast While many fields are located between 100 and 150 kilometers from the coast, the pre-salt areas are located around 300 kilometers from the coast. Depth of water depth while there are platforms located at points where the seabed is 700 or 800 meters deep, the pre-salt platforms are located in ultra-deep waters, which can reach 3,000 meters, corresponding to 7.5 times the height of Moro du Pau de Sugar. This demands the use of more complex rigs to drill the wells. Reservoir Depth After reaching the seabed, the probes still need to drill 5 kilometers of rock to the reservoir, a path that can add up to 10 kilometers in length. Salt layer. To make it even more challenging, halfway through, we need to drill through a long, up to 2 kilometers, an unstable layer of salt. For this, many studies of the resistance of the materials were necessary, until arriving at the special carbon steels that are used today. Low temperatures. If inside the reservoir, the oil is at around 70 degrees Celsius, when it reaches the seabed it finds an ambient temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, which poses great challenges to the flow of fluids. When oil cools, the viscosity increases greatly and can decrease production. To minimize problems, we use thermally insulated coated tubes to reduce heat loss where necessary. Too much carbon dioxide the oil found in the pre-salt has a much higher percentage of CO2 than that found in other fields. To resolve this issue, we have developed technology to separate and re-inject carbon dioxide into the reservoir and increase its productivity. Contaminants The presence of the H2S contaminant in the pre-salt fields added a challenge that, in collaboration with the supply chain, generated innovative solutions through the use of new technologies to enable the development of the pre-salt layer in a safe and economically viable way. We are producing more and faster. Our daily oil production in the pre-salt layer has quadrupled in six years, 
rising from 500,000 barrels per day in 2014 to a level of 2.2 million barrels per day as of 2020. Number of wells versus production. Another data that shows the high productivity of the pre-salt layer is the number of producing wells when compared to the production volume. In 1984, we needed 3,940 producing wells to reach the mark of 500,000 barrels per day. In the pre-salt layer, we reached four times that production volume, with 152 wells, by 2022. Reduction in the average cost of production in the pre-salt layer. With the knowledge accumulated in our operations and technological innovation, the average cost of extracting pre-salt oil has been gradually reduced over the last few years. The value without leasing cost, chartering the platform's hulls, increased from approximately $6 per barrel of oil equivalent, oil plus gas, in 2014 to $3.5 per barrel in 2022. Average Construction Time for Offshore Wells Without compromising the world's best operational safety practices, we have been drilling wells in the pre-salt layer in ever less time. The average time to build a marine well in the Santos Basin pre-salt, for example, was reduced by more than 2.5 times, from 310 to 112 days, between 2010 and the average of 2020 to 2022, with the advanced knowledge of geology, the introduction of state-of-the-art technologies and increased project efficiency. The Pre-Salt in the Santos Basin The pre-salt region in the Santos Basin concentrates more than 70% of Petrobras oil and gas production, with emphasis on its largest fields, which are 2P and Buzios. We operate more than 20 platforms in the region, with more than 120 active producing wells, responsible for the consistent increase in production since the first oil in 2P in 2009. The volume produced per well in this area is well above the average of the oil and gas industry. In 2022, the 30 largest pre-salt wells in the Santos Basin were also the main oil producers in Brazil, averaging over 30,000 barrels per day, with the most productive reaching an average of over 50,000 barrels per day. Tupi was our first discovery in the pre-salt of the Santos Basin and is the largest producer in the area, with more than 1 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. Buzios is a giant field in expansion, whose four platforms in 2022 had production above 700,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day. The company's strategic plan provides for the entry into operation of seven more new units in the coming years in this field. Technology, Knowledge, Training and Opportunities for the Goods and Services Industry The volume of business generated by the pre-salt is a vector that drives the improvement of the chain of goods and services, providing technologies, knowledge, professional training and opportunities for the industry. Overcoming technological challenges, for the most part, is obtained from the association of efforts between the technical teams of operators and suppliers, often supported by scholars and researchers from universities and technology centers. We are leaders in deep and ultra-deep waters. Technical capacity with more than 60 years of experience in the geology of Brazil. We made the pre-salt a reality and transformed it into the world's main offshore production hub.